Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will talk about how to take screenshots on failure in Selenium. So we can take screenshots on failure in Selenium in different approaches. First approach is by using iTest Listener interface and second approach is uh, by using iTest uh, Result Listener interface and one more is one more class we are having test listener adapter class so by using these three ways we can take the screenshots on failure in selenium so we'll see in this video we'll take screenshot uh, on failure test cases using i test result uh, i test uh, result uh, interface now i test result uh, is a listener that is every listener is an interface so by using i test result uh, listener we can take the screenshots on failure so basically this i test result listener is an interface which is going to hold the information about the test cases that is um, which contains the information about test cases it's failed or it's passed um, or uh, the method names everything it is going to be there as a part of i test result in interface let me show us pseudo code of this see here so this is what i test result interface now in this class in this class we are having some constants called created so if it is created will return minus 1 if it is success 1 if it is failure 2 it will skip 3 something etc and it returns status if it is failed it will return what 2 if it is success 1 if it is created it will return what minus 1 like um, we are having if you want to throw the exception type get throwable if you want to set the exception type set throwable if you want to get uh, mil how many seconds it is executed how many milliseconds it is executed ended like all those information will be there as a part of this uh, i test result uh, interface now in this video we will take the screenshot by using i test result listener in the coming videos we will take the screenshot and failure using test listener as well as test listener adapter class right now see here what i am doing yes let me create one class now i am taking a class called screenshot test sorry let me take screenshot demo class now just observe here what i am doing so let me take i am taking one method something login now let me write a public void login now see here what i am doing so let me launch the browser so already some code is just copy paste this driver launching code now after that so let me decrease the time make this 19 now see here after that enter the url so I am entering URL. Let's wantedly fail the test case. Driver dot get off. Now I am entering https colon double slash www dot gmail dot com. And then I am writing driver dot find element by dot id. Actually it is identifier id dot send keys. Now I am entering selenium. now see here let me run this program so let's make this one as a at the rate test make this method as a test case now see here so in the previous video i told so by default every at the rate test uh, annotation contains one attribute called uh, invocation count by default invocation count is what one so this test case is going to be executed now how many times only one if you want to execute multiple number of times we can specify invocation count if you specify invocation count it at the rate test level if you specify invocation count is equal to five this test case is going to be executed automatically five times right if you want you can watch my previous videos now see here so with this code what happens gmail page is going to be entered in this gmail page is going to enter what username as a ramesoft dot selenium just observe here one as test ng test yes now browser is launch then it's going to enter your less gmail.com in that username it is going to enter from a soft dot selenium yes now see is it happened or not yes 
let me make uh, let me wantedly fail this test case let me wantedly make this one as wrong now i'm making i'm removing this d now is there any element with id is equal to identifier at i it is not there now say my test case is going to be failed or not yes whenever my test case is going to be failed i want to take the screenshot so we can take the screenshot in first approach we are following right what is the approach by using i test result right now see here i am taking one method um, before method i am creating one method before method now let me make this one as a public now in this method i am passing one parameter called method class method is a class which is from java dot lang dot reflect so see here method a method provides information about the uh, now it contains information about method i am printing sys form of um, executing the test case executing the test case what is the test case we are executing it plus we are having method called the get name now i am going to know we are going to know which test case is going to be executed as you know that before executing every test before method annotation is going to be executed let me make this one as a before method now once if the test case is failed on every once on every before executing this test method before method is going to be executed so once this other test is completed after method is going to be executed now i'm writing after method now in after method we'll write the logic now if the test case is failed then it needs to take the screenshot now see here what i'm doing now i'm writing just up there here make this one as a at the rate after method so this after method annotation is going to be executed on each and every test case at the rate test method now i am passing here i test result so i test result is an interface which contains uh, the information about test cases right yes the test case name the test case status and everything will be there as a part of this i test result now i'm writing if uh, if uh, i test result uh, is failure is equal to result dot get a status so we are having a method called get status method if this status and this status is failure uh, i said in the in visa in the just now right so get status method is always going to return what the status in the form of integer so by default failure will be of type what int uh, it is holding what is the constant value to right yes right yes now so if it is failure then take the what screenshot so how can we take the screenshot to take the screenshots in selenium we have two predefined interfaces and one class one is predefined interface or what take screenshot interface and one more is output type interface and one more class is file with class by using take screenshot interface we can take the what screenshot and this interface is having a method called get screenshot as method and we have one more interface called output type by using this output type interface we can specify the type uh, format of a what our file so if you don't know just watch my previous videos how to take a screenshot there i explain elaborately regarding this now now so if it is failure then uh, take some screenshot take the screenshot now i am converting this screenshot to of type driver type now i am going to get what object takes a screenshot object now i am taking takes a screenshot right now see here d is giving compiler error so make this one as a global variable because now it is what local right the scope of local is is within the method only now let me remove it yes now see here yes after that on this uh, take screenshot we are having a method called get screenshot as it is asking the output type output type output type dot i want the output type in the form of file file now it is going to return that screenshot in the form of file if you don't know about recording how to take screenshot and what are the elaborative classes i mean what are the class or interface are involved and what is the usage of each interface each method each class just watch my previous videos uh, on how to take the screenshot 
now so file is from java.io package now and i want to copy this one into one folder or specific directory for that we are having a class called file utils dot we are having static method called copy file so which file i want to copy this file in which location new file i want to copy in a e drive with name something i am writing gmail dot jpg yes now say it is showing checked exception just handle it so if you don't know about exception handling just watch my exception handling videos so how we can customize our exceptions how we can throw our own exception all those things i discussed there okay yes now see here if i trigger this program first to which thing is going to be executed here before method in this before method we are telling executing the test case what is the test case login test case and then at the rate test is going to be executed so here i am wantedly failing my test case or not yes sir after failing the test case which thing is going to be executed after method annotation is going to be executed now here i am taking the status if it is failure then take the what screenshot right now just run this program right click run as java application see the output sorry right click run as test ng test right see here executing the test case what is the test case login so we are getting dynamically that method names by using method class which is from java dot lang dot reflect now see here it is entered gmail now wantedly we gave wrong id right now it will wait for 19 seconds and then and then the test case is going to be failed so once it is failed it will come to after method in the after method the status is what failed and there it is taking the what screenshot right yes now see here it's waiting yes now the test case is failed now see here so test case is failure or not yes what is the, what is the exception we are getting see here just observe here see here what is the output i am getting so no such element exception what is that element uh, with id uh, what is that see here identifier i right now go to that e drive where we capture the images e drive right so go to this e drive see here now see here in this gmail screenshot is there or not yes now this is the way to take the screenshot using what is that i test result analyzer now so here we are talking about all static code so we need to write all this code into dynamic right so at framework level we will talk and it will improve bit uh, bit uh, better than this code right right not framework level just will improve it better code now see here so write uh, one utility method for the screenshot because if you want to take the screenshot multiple times uh, so don't take the screenshot because every time it is going to give the output name as a what gmail i don't want to do that i want to give a images names dynamically now see here what i am doing let me take uh, one method uh, screenshot screenshot now i am writing public void take screenshot now let me pass uh, i am passing string image name right now let me make this one as a static so that i can access directly or else not required yes now just copy paste this code from here now now see what i am doing paste it here same thing now here we need to give this one as a what dynamically don't give the hard code don't, don't give hard coding now i am giving plus what is that image name handle the exception and throw declaration right now just call this method now here i am calling see here just to call that method by passing the what method name right now say image name pass it so dynamically i can pass it or not yes sir. so this i test result interface contains what the all the information about test case or not yes sir. here to get the method name we are having a method called the get a name right so what is my method name here login right yes so my test case uh, my image name also will become what uh, login right now see here let me run one more time yes right click run as right click run as test ng test now see the output see here executing test case login yes and then browser is launched 
and then URL is entered. Yes, and then it is, the element is not there, right? So find element is a method which is going to identify the elements based on the locator mechanism. If it is found multiple elements, it identifies multiple elements, but it returns only first identified element from the DOM. Yes. So I already in the previous video I explained elaborately in detail. So just watch the videos. Now see here after 90 seconds my test case is getting failed or not. Yes. Now see here it is failed. Now go to that location E drive. Now see here what is the file? Login. See here my image name is what? Login. Right. So this is the way to take the screenshots on our failure test case. So this is not an aggressive code, this is not a dynamic code, all this is a static code. So we need to implement all those things at what level? At framework level because this utilities functions. Okay. So we'll implement all those things functions using 1.8 and 1.9 features uh, from Java. Okay. In wonderful way using lambda expressions and all those things we'll see. Okay. Yes. So and second approach, third approach we'll talk in the coming videos. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Thanks so much.